Fairfax Courthouse began in 1800 and uh, was known as Fairfax Courthouse during the 19th century, especially during the Civil War. It became the town of Providence after the war. The town of Providence changed its name to the town of Fairfax in the late 19th century. In the 20th century, especially after World War II, a lot of counties in the Commonwealth of Virginia, especially in the Tidewater and the Northern Virginia areas, were experiencing rapid, rapid growth with the return of veterans and families moving into the suburbs. And the first places that these people moved to were towns, including the town of Fairfax. And the, the incorporated limits of these towns were um, no, no longer holding all of that population. People were spilling over into the county. So they were demanding more services, schools, fire services, water and sewer. And in 1957, the town council of Fairfax hired a consultant in New York to study the issue of annexation. And to tell, is it possible? How much? How would we do it? The results came back and the town council adopted those recommendations, petitioned the, court, the circuit court in Fairfax and annexed over 2,200 acres of land into the town of Fairfax. And the population became 11,500 overnight. The same thing was happening with the cities of Falls Church and Alexandria. And the county was becoming understandably nervous that these jurisdictions were annexing land from the county. So the county considered the possibility of becoming a city, thus making it immune from further annexations under the, the then constitution of the state. And uh, when the county went to the circuit court, Judge Paul Brown approved their request for a referendum. Well, when the town council of Fairfax found out about this, they moved very swiftly and voted to petition the court to become a city. And Frank Gooding, who was the deputy uh, clerk of the county court, filed the paperwork immediately. The, the city council under John C. Wood moved swiftly to have their first meeting the day after Independence Day on July 5, 1961. And the first thing they did on that very first meeting was they established voting precincts. They appointed three people to a school board and they awarded a contract for $570,000 to build our city hall. Subsequently, they came to uh, realize that as a city, they simply were not in a position to provide all the services that they thought that they uh, might have to do uh, beforehand. So they went back to the county and said, let's work collaboratively to provide some of these services. And that, that agreement, that arrangement survives to this day.